Hi guys, we're just coming back from outside because one of Mia's godmothers just called and asked what we were doing and if we wanted to go outside to a place that I'd normally walk to and I'm like, you know what? As a matter of fact, yes, because we're just inside, we have nothing going on, why not? But even though it was in the 70s, by the water is always a little bit more cool, but today is like a cooler 70. So we went out and we were there for about an hour or an hour and a half really. And then we ended up um, just leaving and coming back home. We went to the store and bought some food and then we just came back home. So the food we bought, we're going to have that for dinner, me and I. We're not hungry right now. I don't think she is at least. And um... Yeah, I mean, I have some fruits here for her. I can put her... Come here, honey. I can put her up here and see if she wants to eat it. Come here. You want to eat something? But it was so good. We sat there with the girls. These are 12 to 18 months, and they're kind of big on Mia. But, um, you know, we sat there with the girls, and I love moments like that where you can do little things with your kids, and, you know, it's really nice, and they remember that stuff. So I think that was great. If only fathers had the same feelings of wanting to do things with their kids. I think the one thing some men don't prioritize is their children. But I digress. Hi, baby. And it kind of sucks too when you find men who don't prioritize their kids. Because later on they end up regretting it. You know, realizing that you've missed out on the cutest little baby moments, the first this and the first that with your child, and you'll never be able to get that back, you know? But I guess some of us prefer to live in regret than, you know, actually show up the way we're supposed to. And I feel like that's one area that we can pride most mothers um, um, into because one thing we're gonna do is show four kids every single time the other day We took the girls to a play place as well with her other godmother and this card is from there and I think I need to keep it because I think every time you go back you um use the same card Eat honey So we have that there She's a little grumpy, but I have some of her favorite things in there I have um, some blackberries in there. She absolutely loves those. So, yeah. I'm going to try and empty the bag. This is the food that we bought. I'm not really hungry right now. So, that's going to just stay here. Oh, honey, you squished that one out. I've known for a while that I've gained a few. But these pants did it for me today. These shorts. Because when I just had Mia, I think we were going outside for something or I was going to some appointment. And I ended up wearing these shorts and they fit me so nicely. And they were even a little bit loose. And now they won't even go up past my thighs. So the thighs have grown. Or the butt. But also I don't know what to do. Like do I keep it? In hopes that I, I, I eventually fit into it or... I don't know. I'm not really a hoarder either. So I really don't know. Also, this jacket, the last time I went out for a girl's night, I left it in my friend's friend's car. And I'm now getting it back. And I love this jacket. I had bought it on Fashion with this bomber. So cute. We're going to part ways with it. There's literally no point in keeping it if it doesn't fit. I have this thing about me where I have to put things away soon as I come home. Otherwise, it's going to just be there. Hi, honey. My new semester starts. Um, I'm doing a class over the summer. I can't tell if I'm excited or not because it's math. So there's that. I just saw some printouts that I did at work of like the syllabus because most of what I'm doing right now is um, remote. So I don't have to go anywhere and I really do like that about the program especially considering the fact that I do have the baby where I'm able to like do all of that remote. I'm just, I just can't wait for me to be at the point where I'm done with it and I'm working in said field and enjoying the fruits of my labor basically. Because I do want to enjoy my life with my children. 
and um, the way how I want to enjoy my life with my children. I need to make good money because I want to have time to be able to do things with them, you know? All right, so we gave her a lot of snacks, some fruits. She ate what she wanted and then the rest, I guess, is... She's done with it. And I like cleaning up as I go along again because at the end I don't want to have to do all that cleanup. She just ate some kiwis, some blackberries, and some pear. <laughs> she loves grabbing the wet washcloth and like putting it in her mouth. I think I'm gonna just relax for the rest of the evening and then when I'm ready to eat, I have some sesame chicken and some rice. So yeah. This is a morning in her life. Don't <laughs> May's wearing her little feeding bit. Is this called a smock? Where did I get that word from? Oh, this is what she wears most times when she eats. And I'm going to put her silicone bib over it and then this is for breakfast we have kiwi strawberries and i'm gonna say that's a fritter it is a cinnamon raisin fritter that's what we're working with